This video continues on from Fundamental Concepts Part 3 and will lead into Concepts Part 4. We'll be looking at work done when beams plastically deform um, when loads are applied to them. Work is a type of energy usually referring to energy created by mechanical beams. We should all be familiar with the equation energy equals force times distance, both components acting in the same direction. Now if we have this uh, example here where we have a simply supported beam with a point load W applied to the beam and it deflects by a distance of D. The energy or external work acting on the beam by the force is W times D, equal in WD. The units of this being kilonewton meters. It has the same unit as moment, but has a completely different physical meaning. The beam bends from its original shape due to an internal moment. Hence, the energy or internal work by the moment is m or mp times the theta which is rotation uh, the angle of rotation for each hinge position so let's write this down the external work equals the load times the displacement for each load the internal work equals the moment times the rotation for each hinge position the external work is the the work that is applied to the beam. The internal work is the resistance by the beam to the external work being applied. So for the system to be in equilibrium, the sum of the internal work must equal the sum of the external work. Let's look at an example then to work through. We have a simply supported beam here with a UDL, W, spanning a distance of L. Given the magnitude of the uniformly distributed load required to cause plastic failure of the beam shown is WP, express WP in terms of MP, MP being the plastic moment of resistance and L. So we need to express WP in terms of MP and L, L being the span of the beam. Now the first thing we do is draw the bending moment diagram because we need to determine how many hinges and the location of these hinges in this beam when it plastically fails. So um, we know our bending moment diagram for this simply supported UDL beam is like so and we have one maximum in the bending moment so the hinge location is slap bang in the middle of this beam. Now let's go on to draw the deformed shape diagram. So when the beam plastically fails this or when the hinge forms this is what the shape of the beam will look like. So we have the hinge in the middle here at the bottom and we have two angles here and here. Now as this uh, beam is symmetrically loaded and the hinge is directly in the middle of this beam, um, this angle here and this angle here have to be the same. So let's call them theta to begin with. Now if we look at the total rotation of this beam at this hinge location is this angle here. Um, if we draw a horizontal line through the hinge due to similar angles we know that this is theta and this is theta also. So we can say that the total rotation of this hinge is 2 theta. This enables us to calculate our internal work for this scenario. Our internal work, as we said before, is the moment 
times the rotation for each hinge position. Now we only have one hinge that we need to concern ourselves with. So the internal work equals MP. MP equals the mo plastic moment of resistance for this beam. So it's MP times the rotation which is 2 theta. The external work then as we said is the load times the displacement for each load. Now there's only one load that we need to concern ourselves with. Let's go back to our deformed shape diagram. We're only going to consider half of the deformed shape diagram because it's symmetrically, symmetrically loaded. So therefore we can consider half, multiply it by 2 at the end and then we've considered the whole structure. So we have our deformed shape diagram here, only half of it. Um, we have our UDL over the top acting here and the distance is obviously L over 2 because we're considering half. Um, so our load then for acting over this half is W times by L over 2. Now the displacement, if we um, uh, we want to consider half of displacement because we're going to multiply it by 2. So if we consider this this point here, this point here has to be halfway between here and here. So the distance, um, the horizontal distance from here to here has to be L over 4. And then as this angle is theta, our displacement equals um, theta times L over 4. So our external work then becomes WL over 2 times L over 4 times by theta and this will give us a value of WL squared over 4 theta. The last step then in this example is to equate our external and internal work. So we can say our MP 2 theta is equal to our WL squared over 4 theta. We can cancel the thetas off um, because we have them on both sides and in the question it was asking for us to determine uh, or express, should I say, WP in terms of MP and L. Now, as we said, WP is uh, the load required to cause plastic failure of the beams. So, uh, if we substitute WP in for W now, we can say that, uh, and we rearrange um, to make WP our subject, we can say that WP is equal to 8 MP over L squared and that's the answer to our question. So that's part one for plastic analysis work done. Um, I'll do a part two just to run through a couple more examples and then we continue with our fundamental concepts and go into part four.